This month, the Harper government is expected to make a decision on a controversial takeover of a Calgary-based energy giant by a Chinese conglomerate. The deal is worth $15 billion, but there are concerns. If it's approved, it would give Beijing too much control over Canadian resources. Now, one of Canada's most successful and influential billionaires is weighing in. Here's Global National's Michael Couture. You've got uh, five, six... Jim Pattison is the third wealthiest person in Canada. But the man who credits a free market system for building his nearly $6 billion empire says that Canada needs to carefully weigh the implications of the possible Chinese takeover of Calgary-based oil company Nexon. And he voiced that concern on the West Block with Tom Clark. Oh, it's a very different cat when you talk about bringing in sovereign money offshore and then add to the fact that the country may not have the same values that we have. I don't mean monetary values. I mean philosophical values and all the other things you know about. Now, he's not against it. Pattison just calls it a very touchy deal, which is why it's subject to a federal review. The Conservative government is still working out foreign investment guidelines, which will form the framework for such deals. Uh, we'll go out uh, uh, with, the, with, the, with the reviews, with, with the guidelines when we are ready to do so. We will clarify uh, what we need to clarify, but I don't want to speculate more than this. Proponents of CNOC's takeover proposal argue the Chinese just want to invest in our natural resources, not steal them. Now, whether or not the CNOC deal goes through, Canada seems determined to sell oil to the Far East. And that means a pipeline will have to be built across B.C. Now, Premier Christy Clark wants guaranteed benefits for the province, and B.C. opposition leader Adrian Dix isn't opposed to all pipelines, just the Northern Gateway. There's a pipeline, a uh, proposed pipeline that's been approved uh, for natural gas going through Kitimat that will support LNG projects. So we're in favor of industrial development generally. We just think that uh, these pro uh, th this project isn't a good project for the, for the province. Another option for Canadian oil remains the United States. The Keystone XL pipeline was put on hold, but a final decision on the plan is expected early next year. Mike Lecouteur, Global News, Ottawa. Joining us now from Vancouver is our chief political correspondent, Tom Clark. Tom, we heard from Adrian Dix. How does what he says play into federal NDP leader Tom Mulcair's political agenda? Well, Adrian Dix's main focus, of course, is on the provincial election coming up next spring. But he says that should he become the premier of British Columbia, one of his political functions will be to pave the way for Tom Mulcair and the federal NDP to win the next federal election. And he says the way he does that is to show not just British Columbians, but the entire country, that an NDP government doesn't wreck the economy. In other words, that an NDP government isn't a scary thing. And on one very major issue, do Adrian Dix and Tom Mulcair agree, and that is both of them are opposed to the Northern Gateway Pipeline.